Hi friends, welcome to today's video. My name's Stephanie and today I'm super excited to be sharing Morgan Taylor's On My Wishlist collection. So you probably have already seen this collection already. It launched a couple of months ago along with some other mainstream winter releases. For me, I feel like the winter season is only just starting. So whenever I get holiday or winter releases, I don't end up reviewing them right away. So I hope you don't mind that this is a little late. But anyway, Big thank you to Beyond Polish for sending me this collection to try out. As always, I will save some more of my thoughts at the end after comparisons. For now, let's get into the swatches. The first polish in the collection is Ready to Jingle, and this is described as a pearlized deep burgundy red. And this is basically your iconic holiday red. It is just so beautiful and has such an amazing formula. It was fully opaque for me on the first coat. I doubt many people are going to need two coats for this shade, especially with how dark it is. And even though it is kind of described as a pearlized finish, I think I would almost call this a metallic. It's not super pearly, but maybe I'm just forgiving because of the color. Up next, we have Bad to the Bow, and this is described as a shimmering olive green. So I thought this was going to be a metallic type of polish, kind of like the last one, but this ended up being a little bit more sheer. It still had a really lovely formula, super easy and smooth to apply, and very even coverage on the first coat. I got this one opaque for me in two coats. I doubt you would need a third, but maybe if your nails are longer. So definitely no complaints around the formula. I just was kind of surprised to see this olive shade. I don't normally associate olive greens as a winter green. I kind of wish this was a little bit different, but I guess we always get the typical emerald and pine green, so you'll have to let me know what you think of this one. The next shade we have is Wrapped Around Your Finger, and this is a creamy vanilla nude. And I know for being a nude cream, it might seem very boring, but I really love this one. I just love this off-white color. It kind of has a little bit of a yellow tone to it, but I think it's still super flattering. And as you saw, this had such a dreamy formula. It was really smooth and buttery to apply and very pigmented and even coverage on the first coat, which was really impressive overall. Normally, if I find creams to be opaque or very even coverage on the first coat they usually are a little bit thicker but this one was just so nice and it built up perfectly in two coats i think this is going to be such a gorgeous palette cleanser especially if you don't want a stark white mani the next shade we have is a hundred percent yes and i know it's supposed to be like present you know like presents under the tree but i think it just sounds better as present either way this one is described as a deep midnight purple cream and this was another favorite of mine i just love these super deep muted smoky purples they're just so cool and fitting for the winter season and just such a great alternative if you're not really into blues and this one had another fantastic formula it was nearly a one coater and i was honestly kind of surprised especially with how dark this is but i kind of had some weird bald spots especially near the very tip of my nail so i needed to do a second coat just to really even everything out but honestly because it was like butter to apply i have no complaints over this one this might even be a one coater if you have shorter nails Next up we have Before My Berry Eyes, and this one is described as a frosted lilac berry shimmer. And honestly, I was so confused by this description and even the website photo because it just looked so much lighter and brighter than it actually is. I think I would call this more like a steely, plummy purple that's super dark and very gray leaning, but I actually really loved the color of this one. It's just so unique to my collection, and this one was another one coater for me. Because it was that metallic, pearly type of finish, it was a little bit brush strokey, so I wanted to show you this hack where you can sponge on your layer of polish to sort of soften it up, and it almost 
almost gives it like a plush maybe suede or velvet type of look to it it might look a little rough and textured here but once you apply top coat it does smooth out a little bit more but i know it still looks a little textured it's been a while since i've done this technique and maybe i just didn't wait long enough so the polish ended up getting like a little tacky but i still think it looks a little bit better than having the brush strokes it's almost velvety and rounding out the collection is Gift It Your Best, and this is described as a glistening icy blue, which I guess is kind of accurate, but I think the most accurate description for this would be a pearlescent periwinkle, because this one was definitely more of a true pearl finish, especially compared to the last shade and the first red one, which were almost like metallics. This one has a little bit of that frosty pearlescent look to it. it had an amazing formula that was super full coverage on the first coat. I ended up doing a second coat just because I feel like it wasn't perfectly opaque on the first and you definitely want to be careful with your application to get the strokes as straight as possible because it is a little bit brush strokey and you don't want to have too much polish on the brush either. But yeah, for being a pearl, I absolutely love this one. I think it's because of the color. It is just so beautiful, so unique to my collection. But but unfortunately, this one did not look as cute when it was sponged on. It definitely looked a lot more textured, I think because it sort of dries down matte. And here is the collection lineup. So I feel like the first three shades were more of the typical or expected sort of wintry holiday shades. But the last three were such surprises to me and I really, really love those the most. They just give me such cool winter vibe. So overall, I was a big fan of this lineup. So getting into comparisons, we of course are going to be looking at Ready to Jingle next to OPI's I'm Not Really a Waitress, which is their shimmery red metallic kind of shade. And I also needed to show this next to Olive Eve's Garnet, which recently came out in the fall collection. And this one is another deep metallic red. <laughs> I think these two are definitely the closest. Maybe Garnet is just a little bit brighter, but on the nail, it is kind of hard to tell them apart because they are just your classic red metallic shades. They aren't exact dupes, but super similar to the point that if you already have one of them, I don't think you would need any of the other two. Next for Bad to the Bow, I really wanted to see this next to China Glaze's Madame Medusa from the Serpentine collection this past Halloween. It just immediately reminded me of this shade specifically because it had that slightly metallic sort of feel to it with the olive green base and that golden shimmer. And these two aren't exact dupes either, but they're almost like fraternal twins. They are really similar. China Glaze has a more opaque formula though, so I think I would go with that one if you don't have either of these two. Next for Wrapped Around Your Finger, I wanted to quickly show this next to Olive Eve's Calcite, which is their slightly off-white polish. It's not a stark white, but you can see even next to this shade how yellowy and vanilla-y <laughs> Wrapped Around Your Finger is. So for some closer color comparisons, I have Orly's Ceci n'est pas blanc from last year's Surrealism collection, and that one I think was described as like an ivory or eggshell kind of cream. These are pretty similar but I thought an even closer shade maybe was OPI's My Vampire is Buff, which mine is super old. I'm not even sure if you can still get this polish, honestly, but it was such an iconic shade a couple of years ago where it was just the perfect light neutral palette cleanser. So on the nail, these two end up being a lot more similar. Orly is a little bit more white leaning, but again, it's not anywhere near like a stark white, but I would say Wrapped Around Your Finger has a little bit more yellow and OPI's My Vampire is Buff is a little bit more neutral. Next for 100% yes, I really wanted to see this next to Olive Eve's Gaze from the Fall Kaleidoscope collection a few months ago. It was another super dark, almost like smoky purple, but that one is a lot warmer. And on camera, I feel like they look a lot more different than they actually are. Like in real life, they're a little bit more similar, but they're still nowhere near dupes. 
then for before my berry eyes i really wanted to see those next two hollow tacos iron violet from the one coat chrome collection that came out earlier this year i knew they weren't going to be exact dupes because obviously iron violet is a lot more blue leaning than before my berry eyes where it's a lot warmer and there is also the slight difference in their finishes where before my berry eyes is more of a true metallic kind of shade and hollow tacos just looks a little flat and lastly for gift at your best i didn't really have anything like it in my collection so i just wanted to show it really quickly next to starly's the cat's meow because i just shared that in my previous video but that one's a little bit darker and also has more of a orange shimmer so totally different so that wraps up my swatches and comparisons for morgan taylor's on my wishlist collection so as always, I would love to know what your thoughts are on this release, especially when it first came out a couple of months ago. Were you excited for it or kind of like on the fence? Because I'm pretty sure when I first saw this, I was just really intrigued by the color story, but it ended up really growing on me. Obviously, I'm like a little over seeing the red and green in every winter holiday collection, but the last four polishes are easily like my favorites from this lineup. Not to say the red and green are like bad by any means but you know they're just kind of like done we've seen them before but the other four i am just so in love with they're the ones that i'm wearing on my hands right now I have like a little light and dark moment with these because i just could not choose typical libra behavior and i am just so surprised that the matte pearl is my favorite from this collection like who would have thought but it is just so so beautiful like i especially love the color i don't know if i would be as forgiving if it was like any other shade but this color is just so so pretty and I feel like it drying down matte actually really works in its favor where it almost has that like satiny ribbon kind of look and I'm just such a fan of that. So yeah, overall love this lineup. I have quickly become a big, big fan of Morgan Taylor. The formulas are absolutely fantastic. The brushes are perfection. They're just so easy and smooth to work with. So I can't recommend them enough and these are available on Beyond Polish. As a reminder, I am an affiliate with Beyond so you can use my code yogi10 to save 10% off your order or just shop through the link in my description box down below. As always, a big, big thank you if you do support me and my channel by using either my link or my code. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!